and many scientists like me have tried to tell the world, though even their best-selling science books don't grab the headlines like novels. This collection belongs to my friend Douglas Adams, creator of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Douglas was an English graduate, but these days it's not great novels he turns to first. I think I read much more science uh, than novels. I think the, you know, the role of the, the novel has changed a little bit. You know, in the 19th century, the novel was where you went to to get your sort of serious uh, reflections and questionings about, ab about life. You get Tolstoy and Dostoevsky. Uh, nowadays, of course, uh, you know, the, the scientists are actually tell us much, much more about uh, such issues um, than you'd ever get from novelists. So I think, uh, you know, I, I, uh, for, the, for the, the real sort of solid red meat of what I read, I'll go to, go to science books and uh, you know, read sort of novels as light relief. So let me ask you, what is it about science that really gets your blood running? The world is, is a thing of, of utter, inordinate complexity and richness and strangeness um, that is absolutely awesome. I mean, the idea that such complexity can arise not only out of such simplicity, but probably absolutely out of nothing, is the most fabulous, extraordinary idea. And once you get some kind of inkling of how that might have happened, it's, it, it, it's, just, it's just wonderful. Um, and I feel that uh, you know, the opportunity to spend um, 70 or 80 years of your life uh, in such a universe is time well spent, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs>